Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the eighth video of this tutorial series. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the delegates communication pattern. Now in the last video we learned about the observer pattern and unlike the observer pattern which is a one-to-many relationship, the delegate pattern is actually a one-to-one -one relationship meaning that one view communicates directly with another view. Now in order to explain this concept I created a very basic project and what we want to achieve here is Whenever you click on this light bulb, you are directed straight to this second view controller. And whenever you click or toggle this switch, this light bulb is going to be affected. Okay? And um, I'm going to give a very quick tour of the starter project. And in case you want to follow along, then I'm going to leave a link in the description to the starter project. So feel free to download and uh, let's jump right in. Otherwise, I'm going to leave a link to the completed project as well. So you can just watch and later on just download the full project. So first let's head over to the assets folder and we can see that we have two images. The first is the bulb on and the second is the bulb off. Now let's head over to the main view controller and right here first we have a reference to our bulb image view. okay? And then we have a variable that holds the current state of the bulb. So initially it's going to be off which is false. Now in our view did load, what we're doing here is we're setting up a tap gesture to our bulb image view. So whenever we tap on the bulb, we want to execute a function. And the function we're going to execute is to navigate to the switch view controller. So first we are initializing our view controller as a switch view controller. And then we are setting the value of the switch to be the current value of the bulb. Okay, don't worry, we're going to see what this means later on and then finally we are presenting the second view controller so let's head over to the switch view controller and what do we have here first we have a reference to our switch and secondly we have the a variable that holds the current state of the switch and this is passed from the previous view controller and right here since we have access to the status of the bulb what we're doing here is setting the switch to be either on or off depending on the status of the bulb in the previous screen then finally we have an action right here and what we're doing here is whenever you toggle the switch we are dismissing the view controller after a very slight delay the reason for the delay is so that we can see the switch fully animating okay so let's run this project and uh, you're gonna get a clearer picture so first we have the bulb and uh, initially it's turned off so when we click on the bulb it's gonna bring a second view controller which is the switch view controller when we toggle the switch the expected behavior is that this bulb turns on and then the background is gonna become brighter okay then when we click back on the bulb we expect that this switch should be turned on okay and that's what we're gonna do right now so the first thing we want to do is to create a protocol and uh, if you don't know what protocols are, I'd recommend that you watch my video about protocols. It's going to be very helpful. I'm going to leave a link in the description as well. So as I said, let's create a protocol right here. So remember, protocol. And I'm going to call this bulb delegates. Now, I want you to think of this as a messenger. Okay? So I'm creating a messenger of type bulb delegates. And now right here what we can do is specify the actions that this messenger can perform and the action I need here is to toggle I'm just gonna call this toggle bulb and this is gonna take in an argument of the state so I'm just gonna call this state and it's gonna be of type boolean okay so as I said you have to create a protocol think of the protocol as a messenger and everything within this block are the actions that that messenger can perform okay now the next thing we need to do is right here and now switch view controller we want to toggle the bulb switch whenever the switch is toggled we want to toggle the bulb whenever the switch is toggled meaning we need to trigger an action right here now in order for me to perform this action I need a messenger now how do we create this messenger it's actually very easy all we need to do is say var and we're just gonna call this delegate and this is gonna be of type bulb delegate just like that okay so what we're doing is we are creating a messenger of type bulb delegate and we're calling this messenger 
delegate. Now that we have our messenger, okay, we can simply come right here and say delegate dot and then perform the action we want, which is to toggle our bulb. Right? As simple as that. Now right here, all we need to do is pass in the state of our switch. How do we get that? Sender dot is on. That's it. Now if we run this code like this and get to this switch view controller, it's actually going to crash. Can you guess why? Now the thing is, we have access to our messenger, but our messenger is currently nil. Okay? We didn't pass any object or any instance. We didn't create the messenger per se. So how do we do this? What we need to do is head over to the view controller where we want our messenger to be able to operate. So in our scenario, we need to go to our main view controller. So we want our messenger to be able to perform actions in this view controller. To create this messenger, we're just going to need to come over here and say controller dot our delegates, which is the name of our our uh, messenger and we're gonna say this should be equal to self that's it so what we're simply saying here is we're saying that our messenger should be me just take it like that now it's actually complaining of an error and the thing is since we are saying that the the class instance should be our messenger it actually needs to um, conform to this particular protocol so how do we do this all we need to do uh, and uh, actually I like to create extensions whenever I'm implementing or conforming to a protocol so I'm just going to create a, an extension of this class our main view controller class I'm going to say main view controller like that and we are conforming to our um, bulb delegate just like that and since we're conforming to this we actually need to implement the actions or methods that are available in this protocol so I'm just going to click that and fix and just like that we have it so what we've done here is since we are saying that this class should be our messenger all we're doing right here is making sure that our messenger has the ability to execute the functions that are specified in the protocol okay and that's that's simply what we're doing right here now we since at this point we have access to the state of the bulb all we need to do here is to update our view which is our main view controller. Now, what do we want to do? So first, let's actually check the state. So uh, if state, so this simply means if the state is on. So if it is true, we want to turn the bulb on. Else, we want to turn it off. Okay. So I guess this a better name for this should have been is on or something. But anyways, so if the bulb is on, if state, then we want to turn the bulb on. How do we do that? The first thing we want to do is to update our view. So I'm just going to say self .view .background color, and this we're going to set to dot orange. Else, if we're turning it off, we're going to say self .view .background color, and this is going to be dot dark gray like that. Now the next thing we need to do is to update the um, bulb, right? To turn it on or off, depending. So if it is on, we're going to say um, bulb image view and this is going to be dot image equals and remember command shift and l and we're just going to take in the bulb on so i'm going to copy this because i'm very lazy i'm going to double tap this and we're going to choose off this time so let's just confirm that this is on yep like that so uh that's basically everything we need to do and uh, let's actually run this and see what we have so first, we click on the bulb, we are right here, I turn it on, you can see that the bulb is on right now, I click again, this didn't actually remain on, and can you guess why? The reason is, let me show you, so um, at this point, we are sending the switch is on, or we're setting the switch is on property based on the light on value, but we're not actually changing this value whenever we get to this view. So what we need to do right here is simply say, um, light on to be equal to our state. That's all. So when we do this, it's always going to um, update the state of the bulb. So if we click right here, we turn it on. It's on. I click here. You can see that it's still on. I turn it off. It goes like that. And that's how we communicate between views. Okay. So uh, actually, this is a short video. If you have any questions, please go ahead, leave a comment, and I'll gladly answer. 
Um, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you in the next video.